Good morning again. Yes, this is Spirit Journey. I'm on the roll. <laughs> yeah, it, today is Friday. Good old Friday. September 4, 2020 and the time 6.44 a.m. Doing more thinking. I, I'm uploading a video now. Uh, I was talking about the school system and I just uh, went just went with it this is uh, keeping with the same theme about um, our black community and school and education and in the comment of the video that's trying to upload now on YouTube I even put the answer like I, 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 I tied I gave it a title and then in the comment, you know, description, um, I gave the answer to the problem. Okay, so I hope you enjoy it. But this is still talking about our, our black community and school education and how you're being duped. Yeah, this um, BLM people working cohorts with the communists, socialists, Marxists, Leninists. They're out to destroy you and the country. But see in America, in order to get to the heart of America, you get through black people first. Black people is actually a, oh wow, this is just coming to me. Black people in America, United States of America, is like this shell, like you ever see a nut? On the outside of that nut, it's hard, and then inside, it's, you know, softer, you know? In politics, in everything you see, in order to get to the heart of the matter, the heart of wealth, in this country, you have to first go through black people. That's what I see what's going on. That is the first attempt to get into the infrastructure of American society. When, so let's say, a foreigner comes into the U.S. from anywhere in the world, who do they have to first really interact with and move up the ladder? Black people. That is first. And they navigate and then they go to the prospective communities that they're going to be in for the you know rest of their life here. But you have to go through them. Because it is a social structure that was formed. And it lies on the outside. But they want to keep us outside and not be able to enjoy the inside of the fruit of the nut okay so the school system I was, I was just again thinking about the school system and and who popped into my mind is Beyonce and and her husband now they have a child together called Blue Ivy see now these are smart black folk they do they do exploit in my opinion it's my opinion. They 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 they're aware, and they're marketing it. Yes, they were uh, what hip hoppers. They play a genre. They have personas, and then they know exactly what they're doing. And I was thinking about the daughter, Blue Ivy. Now, now they, uh, I think, registered, trademarked the daughter's name, Blue Ivy. Okay. Smart that they do that because you know people would want to tap into, oh, let's market. See again how they market off of other black people? Let's make money over her name. Oh, let's get a clothesline or let's do this and call it that. Yeah, you have people who would do that. So these parents are smart enough to 
trademark the daughter's name so they cannot profit over the daughter's name. So I, I commend them for that. See, I don't mind what, you know, wisdom is. So I commend them for using wisdom to protect the daughter's name. Let the daughter make money off of her own name. So I commend them. But I'm thinking about education. Now, you remember the other video that I hope that you've watched about blacks in the school system, what, why is it a mess? And that of the um, provocateurs, the BLM provocateurs that, that attach themselves. But I'm thinking, okay, you have people, hip hoppers, as I call them, and you get all you other people watching and getting in their mindset. But the mindset is not to elevate you. It's just to get you like in a warp, in a frenzy, make you angry, make you sexual, make you violent, okay? And their daughter, they have a beautiful young lady. You think people, these hip hopper parents are gonna have their little girl, Blue Ivy, go to a black public school? You don't think it, not on your life. They're not that stupid, but they're playing that music like they're, you know, right? They're playing that music, making you feel ostracized, marginalized, and weak. But they have their child. And they, I bet they love their daughter, and they're going to put that daughter in the best schools that they can find for her. I doubt that they're going to homeschool her. They're probably going to have her in a private school. Right? Away from the violence. And they're going to continue playing the type of music that they play. Right? But yet their kid is going to probably go to pro uh, private school. Not public. And you think they're living in a ghetto? You think that? I used to think things like that. I used to think that all, all of the singers are uh, living in ghettos. These people are living in mansions, people, mansions. And they have access to people from all over the world. They don't think like you and me. They don't think like each like the, the so-called typical black folk living in the street. If they did think like in the street, they would be in the street. You are what you think. If you think in the street, you are in the street. You can only think of where the, the what, what you're cultivating in your mind. These people are cultivated international. These are international black folk but they want you to convince you through their music that they're black folk like you and have the same problems. No! These people are in a different class of individual, of the multi, multi millionaires interconnect with other people. Yeah. You're not the same. Once you reach a certain level, it's not just the act, the physical act of having the money. It's the, the process of developing a, a whole in, uh, industry, infrastructure, everything. And, 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 and that prepares you for another level of awareness. That's where they are. Their child will learn how to be a thinker. They'll probably learn about management. They'll probably be multilingual people. 
and they probably uh, won't be xenophobic meaning that they won't be afraid of people that look and talk different than them these people are meeting the people who really run um, they run things they make they are the trendsetters they're, they're the ones that when you look at something that the 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 mindset that created that particular idea that you see in the media they create ideas lifestyles um, just a whole subculture these aren't followers people follow them then I started thinking about Cardi B. She's relatively new to me. She came basically out of nowhere five years ago. And here she's interviewing a candidate for the President of the United States. How would that happen? How could something from five years ago and that she's talking to someone have having contact with someone of that level okay she she started out in uh, upper manhattan washington heights and then she moved to the bronx she worked in a, a store and then she got fired and then she worked in a uh, a strip club and all the drama that happened to her there and all the pain and suffering she did to try to move up the ladder. And now she has a child. I think a child is around two years of age or something like that, or close to two years of age. Do you think Cardi B, not with all her, her language, which you know how she speaks, her colorful language you think someone like her is going to keep her child in the Bronx and go to public school there she has enough common sense in all her potty mouth she has more common sense to not do something foolish like that she most likely will have her kid go to a private school So while you're being hypnotized by her music and keeping your mind down below, she's out there building her empire. I saw recently, last month, a video on YouTube and her brand new home. My mouth dropped. She has one of the nicest homes among, amongst the new stars out there celebrities it was magnificent and then she also bought a house for her mother so she is actually a giving woman she took care of her mama which I, I, I give her honor for that that was a very beautiful gesture, gesture to do for her mom so while you all are being hypnotized by these new artists to get you in a sex mind and a violent criminal mind, they are being initiated. What, what, I, what I think was happening, to my understanding, people go through initiation. I mean, someone's told me that recently something I saw, that you allowed this access because you are an initiate. That's why it's so important what I was trying to convey in the video that, I, that I'm uploading now about the school system, black school system, is that there are initiations that you go through from kindergarten or nursery school all the way up. 
everything is an initiation to see hey are, are you worthy to get to the next level and yes they will harass you and do horrible things to you but this is part of the initiation game and it seems like the worse the initiation and if you survive it the worse the initiation the more potential wealth you get so Cardi B yes she had what was her initiation well she told you she had to work in a strip club what do what happens to women who work in those clubs use your imagination that is an initiation those guys treat her like crap and the videos with her talking to the guys I couldn't believe what I was watching and the fist fight right on right right on television right 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 the cameras were right there filming that's her initiation and she passed it and so she's now going to go get invited to all different types of parties now all different connections and models in another video I did yesterday I talked about Naomi Campbell you don't think she went through initiations oftentimes sex is an initiation whether consensual or unconsensual it doesn't matter or maybe it does matter because if something's being done against your will, that means it's more energy behind it and more trauma. So it seems like the trauma of something can potentially be like a ticket out, your initiation. That means you prove you went through it, that trauma, then you can get to the next level. Wow. Yeah, this is what's coming to me now. So Cardi B's out there, if you survive enough, and then you start to use your mind. Who else? Um, 50 Cent. Now, I don't really know much about him, but I remember him from uh, when that other rapper from Run DMC had gotten a, a assassinated in his uh, studio in Queens. And then he was saying something. You don't think he did an initiation? You can just, guys, use your imagination what he might, might have done. And then I, you see him on an advertisement on a bus, outside of the bus, that he is a subscriber of the, of, of the New York Times, a business magazine. So you think they just stay in the hood mentality? No. He goes through an initiation. If he survived it, then he said, you could get to the next one. So he's getting, so he's up there now. Beyonce and her husband. They've gone through initiations seems like females do be the sex part it's usually sexual and the guys well you just use your imagination and they don't stay in the, the ghetto mind they pretend to be there to have you buy the records and keep you in the ghetto where they move up in their mansions, folks. Mansions, mansions. Opulence. Yeah, they're rewarded to keep you down. Everybody's rewarded to keep you black folks down. Start waking up. Start educating your children. You know, you can't afford a fancy school. Go buy an encyclopedia to read to your children. Why don't you take them to uh, walks to the park 
where 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 it might be a little safer for you to walk and we'll walk and talk about the the little little birds and the flowers and things like that start getting them to think and to think creatively channel that negative energy that's plaguing your neighborhood you can translate the energy you can do it if there's a negative energy transcribe that negative energy to something creative it's metaphysics you can do it my father was born in poverty but he channeled that negative energy and he became an artist then an administrator and then a, a, a principal of a high school all these things you transcribe that negative energy and I think that will help you, people, anybody. The, the, the formula could wait, work for anybody, not just black people, but white people, yellow, red, any, any nationality. And we all have our different callings. Some people aren't meant to be extravagant, you know, extravagantly rich. Some people are just teachers of the heart or encouragers or nurturers so we all have our own play in this world system so I thank you for listening peace, love and joy to you all and don't be deceived by these performers that you see they're not what you think. Okay? Take care and enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye.